Hey y'all, it's Nancy, the Handy Scanny. Welcome back for another crafty venture. Today we're going to be making these sweet ATCs using the Otter Variety 2 stamp set. Otter Variety 2 suggests that there's a Variety 1, and yes indeed, they were both released on July 10th, 2022. So you can see that I stamped and colored my sweet little guys off screen. You can see all those tick marks, that's how I swatch. <laughs> I'm also using the coordinating outline dies for this stamp set. Obviously you can just wiggle them back and forth, but sometimes manufacturers will have smaller dies within the larger dies and they can be a little complicated to, to bend back and forth. So I just recommend a pair of snippy tools and then you'll want to snip those little excess bits either down into the trash can into a paper towel, a napkin, something like that so those bits don't go streaming across the room poking you in the eye or being left on the ground to be stepped on later. Here you can see that I've already lined my dies up on my images, taped them down so they wouldn't shift in the die cut machine, and I cut them all out. And aren't they just adorable? They're so stinking sweet. I've had a blast playing with these, and I look forward to playing with them some more. So what you see on this screen now is me trimming down one of my gel plate prints. So it was just on very thin paper, it was on copy paper, and I have adhered it with just some white glue to a piece of 80 pound um, index cardstock just to give it a little bit of stability. And I trimmed them down to three and a half by two and a half. That is the size of an ATC. Now if you don't already know, ATC stands for Artist Trading Card. And I kind of got into the ATC scene, I guess maybe a year or so ago with another crafty YouTuber and just fell in love with the whole concept. I don't get to make them often enough, but when I saw these, there are four images and five sentiment stamps in this stamp set, and I knew that when I saw these four sweet images, ATCs is how I wanted to go, at least for one project. So you can see that I'm just kind of laying things out, auditioning as it were. I, I'm trying to figure out if I want a landscape or portrait, if I want the frame or if I want the die cut. Now these frames and die cuts were actually just in my stash from other projects. Oftentimes people will throw these bits and pieces away and I would say no, stick them in a jar, stick them in an envelope, a Ziploc bag, a tin, a box, something if it saved them for another day because they come in handy just to finish out a design. Now you can see that I've stamped or done some stamping off screen. I have used the Fadoodles 2 stamp set as well as the Fadoodles dots just to create like some borders and edges and corners on these four little ATCs. And then I am heat embossing with the Distress Embossing Glaze Vintage Photo. And that is kind of rounding out my color, color scheme. So I have that soft, pale, kind of um, opalescent green paint of the gel plate pull and then of course the the various shades of brown for my otters and so I wanted to bring the brown in of course with those little um, die cut scraps and I'm using some gold glitter stickles you can see my friend's hand in there helping me <laughs> squeeze that out while I hold my dotty stencil in place and you can see that my dotty stencil is well loved guys I'm a stencil girl and this dotty I'm all about some dots. I love dots, big dots, small dots, it doesn't matter, I love them. And as you can see, I love me some splatter as well. So again, I'm using both my Posca pens and some more of that um, Arteza paint just to create my splatters. And I have to tell you, I went a little bit crazy with all that excess paint there. I did some paint smushing, I did some splattering. It was everywhere, it took me about an hour to clean up. And I, I have, I don't know, maybe eight um, card panels and probably four or five tags. And those will be making an appearance with some other projects sooner than later. So again, I have it all done. Everything's dry. I was re-auditioning my pieces to make sure I didn't want to make any changes. Now, some of the frames I have um, lifted up on some double-sided foam tape. Some of them are adhered straight down. All of the images are up on some double-sided foam tape. And so now I'm just finding some interesting placement for them because you want to give the eye some, something fun to look at, right? You don't want each one to be exactly the same. So they're kind of a variation on a theme, if you will. Each one is a little bit different, turned differently, of course, different images 
and things like that. So they coordinate very well, but they are far from the same. Even though they have, you know, all essentially the same, the same products, the same style, all of that. Anyway, I'm sure you get the idea. If not, make sure you drop me a comment downstairs. Either way, drop me a comment downstairs. Let me know your thoughts. Do you make ATCs or ATC coins? Have you ever made them before? Let me know. Also, if you like this video, of course, YouTube would like to know that. So we ask that you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my Crafty Tribe, I would invite you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. I'd love to have you come back for all kinds of crafty ventures. And if you are already a member, you know I love you and I thank you for coming back. But I would ask all of you to hit that bell as well. We're going to finish up these sweet little cards. I'm using these beautiful amber sparkles from This Calls for Confetti. And I will make sure that I have these as well as the Whimsy Stamps products listed and linked downstairs for your convenience. So I don't know if you noticed or not, but I did take a corner edger and on the corners that did not have some type of stamp, stamping design or pattern, I just, I just rounded off those corners. Again, that adds to that interest for each of the cards. While I was adding the amber sparkles, I decided I needed to stop, <laughs> stop my process and pull out the Nouveau, Nouveau Crystal Drops. So you can see that I'm putting it on that sweet little flower and I also use the clear for each otter's eyes and nose. But then I go back with the black as well and I put some black dots as you can see right here on the little paw pads for the, for the otters that have their paws showing in that way. I just thought it would add, obviously I like the shine, I like the dimension, and again I think it goes back to adding some more interest. So here I am finishing up with these amber sparkles and just placing them in ways that make sense to my eye. You know, did it add to the design, yes or no? Does it just add to interest, to some bling, to some splatter, to maybe some movement? You know, lots of different reasons and, and ways that you can use embellishments like this. And I typically just wing it. I'm very much an intuitive crafter, so rarely do I have a plan. <laughs> I think I've probably said that to y'all before. But it is what it is, and I, th I think they're very, very sweet. And I, again, I would love to chat with you guys downstairs in the comments just about your thoughts about ATCs, about these particular designs. Whatever you want to talk about, you just let me know. So these are my four sweet little ATCs. I'm in love with them. Whimsy always has some of the cutest images to play with, but of course you can use any images that you want to on your ATCs, any design, any color scheme, you name it. That's one of the things that I love about ATCs is that they're so versatile and fun. And when you talk about the sky's the limit in terms of imagination, you can go even further than the sky, y'all. I would just encourage you to, to maybe try to make some ATCs if you haven't already. But again, let's talk about it downstairs. So go ahead and like and subscribe. We've already talked about those things. Make sure you ring that bell so you're alerted every time I put up a new video. And I think that's it, guys. Everything will be listed and linked downstairs. I thank you once again for joining me today. And until next time, this is Nancy, the Handy Scandy. Mwah. I'm out.